less than 57. This is addition of algebraic expressions with negative exponents. Now we're working with addition, so let's pay attention to this. Here's what it says. Add, write the answer with all the exponents positive. So here we go. Ax to the negative 1 plus y to the negative 1. Now remember, this x to the negative 1 is like going 1 over x to the 1. That's how we convert that. Because we want to make all of our exponents, negative 1, positive. So we want to make it positive. So remember, you um, change it to its reciprocal, and then you can make the positive exponent. Okay? So now, let's work this problem. You do the same with the y. y to the negative 1 will become 1 over y to the 1. Okay? So that's just a quick review. So now, let's do this. So I'm going to work on this problem right here at first. A is still on the top, but this x to the negative 1 becomes x to the 1 on the bottom. And if you want to put a 1, you can, but it's not important. Okay? And then we've got plus um, this y to the negative 1 um, becomes 1 over y to the 1. So if you, you can put a 1 there. It's okay. However you want to do it. Okay? So we've got 1a x to the 1 plus 1 over y to the 1. Now... This is adding, mm -hmm. so from here, we're going to write them um, down vertically. So I've got 1a over x to the 1 plus 1 over y to the 1, okay? And all I've done is wrote that problem vertically, okay? If you remember from previous lessons, you have to come up with a common denominator. Now, I'm going to move these ones, just to kind of get confusing in my brain. It still means the same thing, okay? So... Um, on this, just like if we were to have uh, two-thirds plus one-half, uh, we would take and figure out six because two times three. Two yeah. times three is six, and two times three is six. It's a common denominator. So we're going to go x times y, and x times y, that's our common denominator, right? Yeah. Okay. So now... Then I've got my common denominator. I'm going to ask myself, what did I do from here to get to here? I did y times x. Yeah. So then I'm going to do times x here. So 1x. So one one x. X. And then what did I do from here to here? I did x times y. So I'm going to do times y here. 1ay. 1ay. <laughs> Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now um, we write down the numerator answer. 1ay plus... 1x all over our common denominator x y. Okay. Got it? Let me see if we got it right. A y plus x over x y. Yes, that is right. All okay. right. So that's just one of them. Let's do a few more just to make sure we're getting it. All right. Here's another one. A y to the negative one x plus b c b z. And we'll put a line through that to make sure we know it's a Z. Okay, now all we have to really move is this Y to the negative 1. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's going to become Y to the 1. And this just becomes AX. Now, all of our answers are positive exponents, okay, at this point. All right, now, what do I do here? This one doesn't have a, um, a denominator. Okay, so what we're going to do is we've got AX over Y to the 1 plus BZ. Okay, so I'm going to write this down vertically, and I'm just going to put it over 1. Remember that rule? Yeah. Okay, so AX to the Y to the 1 plus BZ over 1. I'm just writing it vertically. And now I'll come up with a common denominator, which is going to be 1Y or just Y. That's going to make it 1Y and make it easier. Okay, so then what did I do from here to here? From 1 to get to 1y, I times it by y. So I'm going to time this by y. So this is going to be bzy. And what did I do from here to here? I times it by 1. So I'm going to times that one by 1, which is going to be just 1ax or just ax. Okay? So now we're not done. So now we got to add our numerators. 1ax plus bzy all over 1y or just y. Okay? Yep. So that's how you would do that. All right, then give us one more. Let's just do that one last one just to make sure. All right, add, write all the answers 
all the exponents positive. Okay, so still doing the same thing. A to the negative 2, x, y to the negative 1, plus a, z, negative 1. Okay, so basically all the ones that have negative answers, we're going to move to the bottom. So this becomes a squared, we'll take that one off, and y to the 1, take that off. Um, and then this one becomes a and then z to the 1. So all I've done is taken all my negative exponents and just moved them to the bottom and put a positive exponent. Okay, so now I'm going to write this vertically. a over a squared x over a squared y1 plus a over z to the 1. And all I did was write that vertically. Now let's come up with a common denominator, which is really just writing it all together. So a squared y1 z1. A squared y1 z1. Okay, that's combining the denominators, multiplying them. Okay, so now you ask yourself, how did I get from here to here? Well, what's different from this spot to this spot? We multiplied a squared y times a squared y. So that's what I'm going to do here, a squared y. So this becomes a times a squared y, just like that. And then what did I get from here to here? Um, this is all the same until z1, so we times it by z1 to be able to get that. So we're going to times this by z1. Okay, so this becomes x over z to the 1, or I can just, just say z. Okay, now we add our numerator, which is x, z, that one right there, plus a times a squared y all over a squared y1, z1. And at that point, if you want to take out your ones, you can. Okay, let me make sure we've got the right answer. Yeah, they went on and took this and went a times a squared, which would become a cubed plus, or not plus, I'm sorry, a times a squared would be a cubed, and then a times y is um, a y. Okay? A times y. A squared times, yes, okay. So then that you would just multiply a times a squared, which would be a, third, a cubed to the y. You don't have to, though. You can leave it in that form. Sometimes they answer it, and sometimes they don't. So, it doesn't matter. All right? Final answer? All right, that's lesson 57.